Good night. Hello. How are you? Está bien, está bien concentrada, dije yo. Yeah. I, I, I didn't realize that you were here. Está bien concentrada, como está bien guapa, dije yo ahora. Ay, thank you. Yes, today I went to, to, to dye my hair. Ay, está bien guapa, dije hoy no nos quiere mirar, dije yo. No, no. How are you, Patty? Fine. Fine. Fine, fine. You, yeah. you work hard today? Yes. I go to San Juan Talpa. Oh, you 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 went? Yeah, I went. San Juan Talpa. It, it was far away. Far, far away. Okay, very good. Yes. And Linda is there too. <laughs> it's undercover yet. <laughs> only I have only two students today. Eh, fíjense que me estaban diciendo, eso lo voy a decir al final de la clase. Hoy les traigo una práctica extra y les traigo también un listening al que se quiera quedar un poquito después de las 10, bienvenido. Okay. We're going to have a listening practice. Yo estoy en deuda porque no trabajé en el foro de discusión, pero hoy no sí. me quedo. Um, yeah, I imagine, but you are, you are very, 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 no, 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 oh my God, I touched something I didn't have to. <laughs> eh, no, um, I, 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 I paid attention to that because you are very responsible, very responsible. Thank you. So I think that you didn't have like time. Okay, well, I have Linda and Erica and, and Patty. I only have three students today. <laughs> okay, well, so we're gonna, gonna begin. Do you remember yesterday? Ah, lo que les iba a comentar así rapidito. Um, la encuesta la vamos a llenar lunes, Monday. Because okay. Monday we will have a class. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, I me um, call me uh, today, uh, Luis. Ah, and and well, uh, at the end of the class, we're gonna talk about that. All right, okay. at the end of the class, we're gonna talk about that. Okay. So, it, well, good night, everybody. Good night. Today we're gonna begin uh, with our class, and I have a presentation for you. All right, very good. Okay. Uh, all right, very good. So today is class number 19, okay? So this is our, uh, well, it was like our, um, how can I tell you? I forgot the word, but possibly tomorrow was the last class, but you, you know we had an inconvenience, so it's gonna be a Monday, have the class Monday. All right, very good. Okay, so uh, here we have the objective today. Today is going to be practice and practice with vocabulary. We're going to watch videos. And I have a lot of things that we're going to do. I tell you that if you want to, for example, if you want to stay after the class some minutes, maybe five or ten minutes you can you can stay all right because i'm gonna i'm gonna play some listening for practicing and and all that stuff okay or if you have an extra question i can help you after 10 p.m there is no problem about that okay so today's objective is that we will uh, practice with the vocabulary about the topics that we have studied previously by giving and receiving instructions all right very good so uh, we're going to begin our class today with some conversation questions, all right? We're going to have some conversation questions, and these questions are, are you good at, okay? Are you good at? It is a similar question to can you, right? This question is for investigating about abilities, right? For example, are you good at, question number one, are you good at climbing trees? Climbing trees. Like, I like, know, I know. similar to, to a monkey. <laughs> yeah, you, you understand the question. 
Yes, climbing, all right. Are you good at climbing trees? Yes. And the answer is, yes, I am, or no, I am not, or no, I'm not, because they are yes, no questions. Is it clear? Yes. Yes, yes all right, very good, very good. Okay, so are you good at climbing trees? Yes, I am, or no, I'm not. So what we're gonna do right now is please, if you want, take a picture. Well, Patty, I see that is taking a picture. So the others can can take a can take a, a, a picture too. All right, and we are gonna ask these questions, right? Are you good at? Are you good at? Right? Are you good at? And you have a, a list of questions. If you don't know a word or if there is a word that you don't understand, you can check uh, on the on the translator, all right? Yeah, you can check on the on the translator. For example, oh teacher, I don't know the meaning of this word. Ah, okay, so you check on the translator, okay? Very good. So, and now that you have your picture, let me see how many we are. I have Francisco, Ivit, Sandy, Herman, and Edgar, all right? Patty, Linda, and Erica. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna send you to the small groups so we can practice these questions. And I'm gonna have pairs. Let me see, Edgar with Ivit, perfect, perfect um, match. Linda, Sandy, very good. Francisco, Edgardo, Herman, Erica, Ruth, and um, Rain has uh, gotten online. So I'm gonna give you some time so you can practice the questions. And let's go right now. Bye bye. And I'm gonna send Reina to group number four. Okay, very good. Carmen Irene. Hello, teacher. I'm gonna send you to one group, all right? We okay. are practicing questions. Okay. Yes, did, do, did you receive the invitation? Yes, she, she did. Okay. Uh, are you good at speaking English? Yes, I am. Okay, the next one. Are you good at computer games? Uh, no, I am not. Okay. okay. Are you good at playing the piano? Yes, I am. Are you good at playing double bell? Talk about uh, what do you talk about? Talk about what? 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 Dog, 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 oh, dog dodgeball is similar to um. How can I tell you? Let me see. I'm gonna I'm gonna search for the. Continue with the next question. Don't worry about that one. Okay. Okay, Herman. Are you good at playing basketball? Yes, I am. Okay. Are you good at playing volleyball? Yes, I am. Okay. Oh. Are you good at Tetris? Yes, I am. Honey. Are you good at cooking noodles? Cooking noodles. Mm. No, I am not. 
I'm gonna finish the time because I have more students that are joining and if I have a big group, it's not gonna be a good activity. I'm gonna make Sorry, everybody, I closed the groups because I have people joining, all right? So I'm gonna make groups of four or groups of three, so I don't want that. So I'm gonna make the groups again. Okay, uh, I'm gonna make the groups again because I have people that have just joined. All right, let me see. I'm gonna have one group of three. Let me see, Carmen Irene, Herman Ibit. Okay, that's okay. So we're gonna go and we're gonna continue practicing. Herman, dodgeball. Dodgeball is a, a game, uh, there is a movie. There is a movie about, it is played with a ball como quemados or something like that, that you throw the ball and you hit the person. I, I, don't, I don't remember the name in, in, in the correct name in, in Spanish, but it is, it, there is a movie about that with Adam Sandler that they play, they play with, with a ball. I don't know if you, if you know that one. Okay. Well, but, but, but that is the Dutch ball. That is the, the, the sport Dutch ball. Okay, bye-bye, everybody. We're going to continue practicing. Bye-bye. Okay, uh, should the, mm, the first five and I the next five. Okay. 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 Um, are you good at the cleaving dress? Yes, I am. Are you good at singing? Uh, no, I am. Are no, you I'm good? Not. Ah, perdón. No, yes, I am not. Yes, no, Excuse I'm me. not. Um, I strike. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Sandy. Okay, Sandy. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> no, no problem. Sorry. Um, I your kitties. Oh, yes. Okay, the next. Are you good at uh, speaking English? Yes, I am. Ah, very good. <laughs> that's okay. That's okay. All right. Are you good at computer game? Uh, no, I'm not. Okay. Are you good at playing the piano? No, I'm not. Okay, Sandy. Um, are you good at playing dog, 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 dog football? Okay. Dodgeball. 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 Mm, no, I not. Are you good at, good at playing basketball? No, I not. Are you good at playing volleyball? No, I not. Are you good at Tetris? Yes, I am. Yes. Are you good at cooking and Yes, I am. Yes. Are you and good the at next. Okay. Sorry. Okay, the next one. Are you good at telling jokes? Telling jokes. Mm -hmm. Some bummers, creo. 
No chistes. Ah, oh, yes, 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 yes. chistes. Yes, I am. I am not. Are you good at making uh, making people smile? Um, Ah, uh, yes, I am. Como hacer sonreír a las personas. Yes. Yes, I am. Are you good at reading in your first language? Language? Language. Yes, I am. Language. Yeah. Yes, I am. Are you good uh, playing the piano? No, I'm not. Okay. Are you good at playing dodgeball? No, I'm not. Are you good at playing basketball? No, I'm not. Are you good at playing volleyball? No, I'm not. Are you good at Tetris? No, I know. Are you good at cooking noodles? Yes, I am. Okay, are you good at math? Yes, I am. Are you good at telling Joseph? No, I'm not. Are you good at making people smile? Yes, I am. Are you good at reading in your first language? Yes, I am. Okay, are you good at solving problems? Yes, I am. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right. So, uh, were the questions uh, difficult? No? You understand? No. no. Okay, very good. For example, uh, practice, you ask me. You practice with me. Are you good at art? Maybe concepts? Yes, I understand. So may maybe yes, I am. Okay. Are you good at selling jobs? Yes, I am. Another person? Are, are you good at math? At math? At math. No, <laughs> I am not. <laughs> maybe, that's, maybe that's the reason I am an English teacher. <laughs> because I don't like math. No, it's a like good math. reason. Yeah. I, I wanted to be a psychologist or a teacher because psychology and teaching don't have mathematics. <laughs> but for example, architecture, engineering, business administration, yeah. So no, no, no. Okay, another question? <clears throat> Are you good at telling jokes? Um, maybe, yes, <laughs> I am. Okay, okay, thank you very much. Now we're gonna go to the next activity. And the next activity is this. Do you remember yesterday? Oh, Juliana, you have a question. Juliana, do you have a question? <laughs> yes, teacher. Yes, ask me. Uh, what does it mean Tetris? Oh, Tetris is a game. Do you remember? Um, it is a game that you have some pieces and they are falling, they are falling, and you have to move them, and you have mm -hmm. to, you have to put them in, in lines. Mm -hmm. Do you remember Tetris? Yes, yes, I remember. Yes, okay, Thanks. yeah. I am not good at Tetris, I am not good, okay. Now, uh, the one is, we're gonna make a little review about procedures. Well, yesterday we were talking about the, the most and the least uh, serious situation. Today, we're going to talk about 
the most important to the least important procedures that you have to follow inside a company, all right? And here we have some procedures. If you want, please take a picture. And we have 10 procedures here. So number one is wear the uniform. Number two, arrive on time. Oh, I, I, I forgot everybody that uh, we're gonna, uniform, we're gonna um, cover the numbers. Okay, because later we're gonna we're gonna number them. So number uh, then the first one is wear a uniform, arrive on time, work your full schedule. For example, if your schedule is from from seven a.m. to eight, seven a.m. to five, right? If you work your full schedule, or uh, it is a requirement, right? Companies tell you, if you work extra hours, it's perfect, but your schedule is from seven to five. The next one is, don't smoke or take drugs inside a company. Participate from conferences, meetings, etc. Report any problem that can emerge. Do you know the meaning of emerge? Everybody? Exactly, very good, yes. So you have to report any problem that can emerge. Report any mistake that you make. Don't go out of the company without permission. Don't say private information about the company and respect everybody. So what I want you to do is, I want you to rank from the most important to the, yeah, all of them are, are important, right? But the most important to the to the least important, all right? We're gonna make a rank from the most to the least. Is it clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, do you have a question with vocabulary? Maybe is there a word that you don't understand? I think that all the words are, are familiar, right? Okay, so let's see, we're gonna stop. I have, I have Grecia there, hi Grecia inside that too, okay? Um, Victor hasn't gotten online yet. All right, so we're gonna go and we're gonna practice. Let me see. We are, we're gonna have a group of three. The group of three is gonna be Abel. Eh, let me see who else. It's gonna be Abel, Saida, and Juliana. All right, you will be the group of three. So you're gonna order, you're gonna rank the situations, okay? So bye-bye for the second time. Bye-bye, everybody. Okay. Yes. Okay, a riot eh, time. Del más important, del más bea, o del menos? Yes. The most important okay. uh, to less important. Oh, a riot. Yes. Okay. A riot time. Number two. Wear the uniform. Okay. Um, number three. Respect everybody. Okay. No. Okay. Respect everybody. Number four, maybe. Mm. Uh, word your full schedule. Uh, what's the number? Number three. Ah, word to for the Oh, okay. Yes, the number four. Yes. Okay. Number five. 
Don't smoke or take drugs inside okay. a company? <laughs> yes, yes. Quizás lo más importante para teacher. Yes. Is the same. Is the same. De lo que hicimos ayer. Eh, no. Eh, no. Yesterday it was. Yeah. I mean, yes, because you have to rank. Mm -hmm. But yesterday was from the most serious to the least serious. These are procedures or rules from a company. So what you have to do is you have to rank them from the most important to the least important. Okay. Okay? Okay. For okay. example, yes. for me, if you ask me, number one can be? Na, number nine. Exactly. Don't say private information about the company. That will be top number one. Because that is not, I mean, it's very important because when you go to a company, they, they tell you, right, you know, you, uh, the, we, we have in, uh, confidential information, so you don't have to share the information with other people and, and that. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. thank you. Hi, Abby. Thank you, teacher. Hi, teacher. How are you? Okay, continue, continue. Okay. okay. Wear the uniform. For me, is is very important. Yes, ajá, sí, porque si si uno de los reglamentos es usar uniforme es indispensable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y don't go out of the company with throw permissions, permissions. Oh, permission. Permiso. Estoy hablando como española, teacher. Yes, permission. De Debe ser. <laughs> yeah, permission. Permissions. Yes, excellent. Okay, okay. Entonces, number eight. Eight. Vamos a ver las que quedan. Oh, don't smoke or take drug inside a company. Yeah. Okay. Word. Word you fall. Eso, eso no sé qué es. Word you fall schedule. Es algo como el horario, ¿verdad? Trabajar tu tiempo Schecho. completo, algo así. Example, ah, okay. Imagine if you work from 7 a.m. to 5 p.m. Uh -huh. So you have to work all the schedule. Cumplir con el horario, ¿verdad? Exactly. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that can be the definition of that. Yeah. Ah, okay. No, antes, antes de la nueve también. La... Sorry. La nueve, don't say private information about the company is también okay. importante. And in English? Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> say it in English. In English. Okay. Okay. Don't say private information about the company. Okay, la is number six. Um, yeah. Okay. Is, uh, remember, that, yeah. remember that when we compare information, sometimes the information is not going to be similar, right? Yes. Yes. Um, it's a uh, seven. No faltan cuatro. Seven. Mm. Report. Yeah, report any mistake that you make. Okay. It's a seven. Eight. Um. Four. He'll see if he, what happened. You didn't join the, the meeting. Hello, teacher. Hi, what, what happened? You didn't receive the, the invitation. Uh, I don't know. No. Uh, sí, hoy sí, creo no la había visto. Oh <laughs> my God. 
<laughs> and I said, I'm going to go to the room because he has a friend. Okay. Sí. Come on. Yes, if you want, go, go. And, and. Buenas noches, no tengo el tiempo de hablar, puedes practicar así. Did you finish? No. No, you didn't finish. All right. We're going Erika, the little thing is recording, right? Yes. Thank you so much. <laughs> everybody. No. Yes. Yes. Patty, I don't listen. Yes, yes, yes. I, 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 I my dog. Out. Yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a mi perro estoy regañando ah. que se vaya para afuera. Ah, the dog okay. in the, in the decía, class. Por eso le decía que no, pero que no se viniera para adentro. Ah, oh, yeah, I was, I was. <laughs> no. Oh, my God, sorry. that's it. All right. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. Okay, yeah. Okay, <laughs> now um, I'm going to show you. I will have to do it again. This, but I forgot. Okay. Now, uh, what we're going to do is we will classify. Sorry, we will classify the um, the numbers, right? Uh, about these these things, all these things are very important in the job or in the office because they are rules. And remember that we have to respect the rules. Now, if we talk about grammar, if we talk about grammar points, all these sentences are imperatives if you pay attention okay they are all imperatives for example wear a uniform remember that one imperative aquí vamos a hacer un repasito de imperatives the imperatives begin with the verb wear arrive work a negative imperative don't smoke participate, report, don't go out. I mean, all of them are imperatives because they are rules. Now, which is number one for you? Which is the most important? Number, don't, perdón, don't go, no, perdón, don't say private information about the company. Okay, for Grecia is don't say private information about a company. What about another person or another for volunteer? Me. For me, is don't smoke or take drugs inside a company. Ah, okay. For you, is don't smoke or take drugs inside a company. For Avele, what about for another for another person? Wear the uniform. Wear the uniform. Do you think Do you think in some companies, if you don't wear the uniform, that can be a, a very big problem? No, in my company, no. yes. In your yes, company, in my yes, company, but yes. Okay. Yes, it's very important wear the uniform. Yeah, yes. yeah, because you it is your identification, right? Because you yes. are out. So what do you think, everybody? Out. So what do you think? Don't say provide information. Okay, so uh, we're gonna leave that because I think that I, I agree. So don't say uh, Mm, private information about the company, okay? We're gonna put a very nice color. So don't say private information about the company. That would be number one. What about number two? What about number two, everybody? What do you think? Respect everybody. Respect everybody, okay. Arrive on time. Arrive on time. What about don't, don't smoke, smoke or don't take smoke drugs? Or take don't drugs smoke or inside. take drugs inside the company. Yes, yes okay, that, yeah. that, that will be number two. Don't smoke or take drugs inside the company. What about number three? Arrive on time for me. All right, arrive on time. What about the others? Arrive on time is okay. Remember, remember that in the discussion, in your personal discussion with another classmate, 
um, you have your, your, your numbers, right? Very good, you, you discussed and everything. Now this is for everybody, for all the class. So let me see, arrive on time? Do you, do you think that arriving on time or wear a uniform? What do you think? Arrive on time. Arrive on time, okay, very good. Yes, because if you arrive late, that can be a, be, a, a big problem, okay. What about number four? Wear the uniform. Wear the uniform, number four, wear the uniform. Okay, very good, wear the uniform. Number five? Don't go, don't go don't out go. of the company without permission. Don't go out from the company without permission. Okay, yes, imagine like, hey, in Grecia? <laughs> to she went to what's the name of this thing donde usted va por una cosa y, y trae 10 what's the name dollar city yeah city. yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> you know right you know <laughs> hey mm -hmm. where is gracia where is gracia ah she's at the dollar city buying things right mm -hmm. oh. so you have to ask for permission okay <laughs> and number five is that number six where's your full schedule Okay, work your full schedule, very good. Not like, <laughs> imagine your full schedule is from seven to five, but you, sufficient at four. <laughs> that is not possible, all right? Not possible, don't do it. Okay, what about number seven? Report any mistake that you make. Okay, that, that can be a, a, a another thing. Report any mistake that you make, very good. What about number eight? We are missing just three, eight, nine, and 10. Respect everybody. Respect everybody, okay. Report. Oh, yeah, I understand what Linda says. Report any problem that can emerge. All right. Uh, yeah. Okay, so number eight. What about number nine, everybody? Respect everybody. Respect everybody. Everybody. And what about number 10? Participate from conferences. Yes. Okay, very good. Now, in your company, in your company, which is the most important from this? All are important. All of them are important. But tell me one that is the most important. For example, in, where I work in this moment, where I work in this moment is arrive on time. That is the most important. So that's the reason I am always five minutes before, all right? Because I have to be early. Imagine me uh, getting online at 8.10. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. My head will roll, <laughs> all right? So yeah. in, in, where I work, that is the most important thing. What about for you? In my case, we're the uniform. Erika, in your case, you have to wear the uniform. Okay, another person? In my case is don't go off of the, no, don't say private information about the company. Okay, very good. You don't have to say private information about the company. What about for um, Abby? What about for Abby? Um... Uh, re report any mistake that you make. Okay, you have to report any mistake that you make. What about for Norberto? Uh, no, no. I'll, uh, I'm lost. Okay, Norberto, uh, in your company, which is the most important thing to do from all these things? Which is the most important thing to do? The most important procedure? Mm. 
uh, arrive at on time. Okay, very good. Arrive on time. What about for Reina? Repeat, teacher. Uh, Reina, in your company, which of these is the most important to follow or the most important to respect? Lo más importante. Don't sign private information about the company. Ah, okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, Reina. Very good. Okay, everybody. Nice. Nice. Thank you very much. Now we're going to continue. Okay. Sorry. We're going to continue. I'm going to erase. Ooh, this is nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, um, the next activity is um, very, very nice. So here... I have a question, everybody. Do you know the name of, let me see. Do you know the name of this? What's the name earring. of this? Earring. 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 Oh, it is an earring. Okay. Now, earring in English is a word. Let me, give me a second because the microphone fell. Okay. Earring in English is a word that is compound because we need two words to make one. What are the two words that we need to make one? Ear, ear, earring. Exactly, very good. Those are the two words that we need. Ear and ring. And we have earring. earring. Okay, very good. Another word. Another word uh, is, I don't have another example here, but in English we have these words and the name of these words are compound nouns. That's the name, compound nouns. They are compound because you need two words to make one. Is it clear? Yes, yes. okay. Yes. So what we're gonna do in this moment is, please take a picture from this. I'm, I'm gonna, sorry, I'm gonna see if I, sorry. I'm gonna see if I can make it big. Give me a second. I will I will make it big because I think that is too too small. So give me a second. Okay, very good. I'm gonna make it. I made it D already. Yay. Ah, now it's better. Okay, I made it big. So please take a picture because what we're going to do right now is here we have the possible matches for the beginnings here. For example, look at the picture. Look at the picture. This is a butter. What can fly. be the option here? Fly. fly. Exactly. Butter, fly. So butter is mantequilla and fly yes. Volar or can be mosca. So, yeah, if it is a verb, it's volar. If it is a noun, it's mosca. Now, if we have butter and fly, we make a new word that is mariposa. So those are the compound nouns. So right now, everybody, what you're going to do is you're going to match the word, the beginning, the beginning of the word with the word here. So we can make new words. Is it clear? This is an yes. activity. Yeah. This is an activity for you to relax and for you to learn more vocabulary and to learn an extra thing. Okay, now if you have the picture, I'm gonna stop the share. You have the picture? Yeah? Yes. Okay. Por eso siempre me sacan con la boca abierta, no me avisan. Yeah, because in the screenshots, I am like, okay. So, uh, <laughs> So I'm gonna we're gonna go to the breakout rooms right now. Okay. Let me see. We will have a group of three. Victor is already here. Okay, so the group of three will be Avele de Nilsson, Rain Avele de Nilsson, Grecia, and Linda. You will be the group of three. Okay, thank you very much. I'm gonna give you some time to work this and Bye-bye.
Uy, sorry. Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Go and practice. Patty, work right now because I think Sandy Sandy had a problem. I think Sandy is having problems with internet. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can work. Okay. Let, let me okay. let me go again. If okay. not, I'm gonna join you to another room. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Sandy, are you there? Okay. What do we form? Ice cream. Uh, ice cream, yes. The forest ice cream. The number five is rainbow. Rainbow, bow, bow. Okay, okay. Oh, I'm sorry. This rainbow. No, three, four, three word rainbow. Okay. Okay, the number six is bathroom. Uh huh. Bathroom, I don't know. Okay, okay yeah. Bathroom. O, eh, o W W uh -huh. uh -huh. wow. Rainbow uh -huh. And the next um, Bañera creo que es Bathroom Tiene que ser sí. Bar mm. Ah, la otra es Watermelon Yes Water, watermelon. Watermelon. News. Eso es como que es periódico. O revino periódico como que en verde. So, how do you say periódico in English? <laughs> uh, no, ni idea. You don't know, Herman? No, teacher. Newspaper. Ah, yeah. Yes, news, newspaper. Paper, yes. yes. <laughs> newspaper, yes. Paper. Newspaper. All right. Paper. Y ese es un... Well, China. El otro es Erwin, el que dijo al inicio de ella. Is... Eh, eh, Grecia, you are on the corner. ¿Cómo? You are on the corner. Uh, hearing. Hearing. Who? Oh, you are on the corner, the corner of your house. Ah, yes. 
Yeah. I stay in my room because oh, it's... Ay, and that is a big temptation. Ay, sí, de repente. Yes, I know. It is a big temptation. Okay, what is the next? Which is the next you, you have? So, to take. Yes. You know, uh, right now, like five minutes ago, I took two acetaminophen because I have a terrible toothache. A leave is he's he's better. A leave. A leave is better. Yeah, maybe tomorrow I will buy because I'm having a problem with my my tooth. Yes. Toothache. My, Very my good. Dent, my dentist said a leave. Ah, okay. I will take the recommendation. Yes. Thanks very much. Okay, continue, everybody. I will go to visit this group. The rubbish bin. Yes. When you say rubbish bin, is the same as if you say waste basket in in English in American English. It's because oh. if you say rubbish bin, that is in British English, English from England. Uh, es como yeah, es lo mismo. It's the same. Uh, but rubbish bin is in Britannico. It is in British English. Correct. Okay. Washing, 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 washing machine, washing machine, washing machine, rubbish, ay, yo no miro qué es esto, rubbish, no sé qué es, como basurero. Rubbish is like garbage. It is similar to basura, garbage. verdad? Como yes. basurero. Exactly. Okay, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna help you with that one. That one is rubbish bin. Rubbish bin. Rubbish ah, okay, bin. okay, okay. Rubbish, rubbish. Rubbish bin. Rubbish. Sí, es sí, sí. sí. Este Sí, no, mire, el, ese dibujo después del basurero. De, 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 de next is C. Ah, uh, sorry, teacher, is a... Ah, eh, oh, that is a... Uh, oh, they are hongos. Ah, hongos. Yeah, eh, but the, yeah. ones, the ones that, the oh. ones that, that, that we eat. The ones that we eat. I don't see much mushroom. Gunch. No. Okay, very good. Now, did you finish? No. <laughs> no, you didn't finish. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna check the the exercise together. It is it is an exercise where you can learn a lot of things. All right, you can see that one word and another word make a new word. So you're gonna you're gonna give me the answers right now. So the first one we said it was 
butterfly. Okay. Butterfly. 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 That's the, the one. Butterfly. What about the next one? Keyboard. 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 Very good. Keyboard. Key. You have to say keyboard. All right. Keyboard. Perfect. The next keyboard. one. Watermelon. Waterfall. Waterfall. Watermelon. Ah, waterfall. Waterfall. Very good. All right. Yes, waterfall. For example, Huayuca waterfall. What about ice cream? Hey, ice cream. Very good. Okay. In some cases, everybody. In some cases, the words have to be or have to be spelled together. Butterfly, keyboard, waterfall. But there are other words, for example, helado, that is ice cream. The, the, the words are separated, but they are one word. Is clear? Yes. So ice cream. Yeah, in here we, oh, sorry, sorry, we separated. The next one, the next one is rain. Oh, rainbow. 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 Very good. What about the next one? Bath? True. Oh. Bathtub. All right. Bath Very good. Tub. Say bathtub. The next one is gold? Fish. 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 Goldfish. All right. Very good. Goldfish. Water? Melon. Watermelon. Watermelon. Very good. Do you like watermelon? Yes. yes. There are people who there are people who collect things about watermelons. Do you collect things about watermelons? No. 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 Okay. No. What about the next one? News. Paper. Newspaper. Paper. Very good. Newspaper. The next one is wheel. Chair. Excellent. Now you learn a new word. You know, chair, silla, wheel, janta. Wheelchair, una silla con llantas, sí. right? Silla con ruedas, all right? Uh, so, a wheelchair. What about ear? Ring. 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 Good. Earring, right? The example that I gave you at the beginning, earring. Oh, tooth. H. 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 Okay. Ache. Remember, okay. remember, ache. Mm -hmm. Very good. Toothache. Okay. Okay. Washing machine. machine. Ah, okay, machine. washing machine is a word that you have to separate. So you say washing machine. Ash tray. Ash tray. Very good. Remember, remember. ¿Cómo vamos a pronunciar la A? No la vamos a hacer así. Ah, uh uh. It's A. Ash tray. Ash tray. Ash tray. Ash tray. The next one is rubbish. Bin. Rubbish bin. Rubbish bin. I was telling Francisco that rubbish bin in, in Sweden, it's too, I think, that rubbish bin is a British word. It is British English, right? Rubbish bin. Es basurero. Mush. Mushroom. 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 Very good. What about the next one? The next one is. See? Season. So. 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 Very good. See so. And that is the. All right. So. Did, did you like did you like to play uh, on the seesaw when you were a child? Yes. Yes. When you went to the park, right? That was good. Mm -hmm. And the next one is sauce. Pan. Sauce. Pan. Very good. Remember, pan. 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 Say pan. Mm -mm. That is not a good coming pan. sound. It's sauce pan. Okay. Well, good. No sé si le van a tomar a picture with the answers. Oh, no, no, no. You have the, you have the answers. But if you want to take a picture, there is no problem. Okay. Well, time for... Time for, give me a second. So right now I'm gonna take the attendance. So please, you know, right, that I need to, that I need to, to see you. 
Ok, gracias, gracias, gracias. All right, let me see. Uh, Ruth Patricia, Zuniga Alvarenga. Present. I was, uh, was going to say Aguilar, I don't know why. <laughs> ok, uh, very good. Mm -hmm. Abele de Nilsson Salazar Melara. Present. Very good. Saida Yanet Pérez Rodríguez. Present. Yeah. Ivita Alexandra Rivera Rodríguez. Present. Yeah. Ok. Víctor Palacios Reyes. Present. Claudia Lorena Funes Jovel. No here. Grecia Ivonne Mejía Ayala. Present. Thank you. Here? Sandy Stephanie Pais Orellana. Present. Germán Agustín Ramos Villeda. Germán. Ok. Jessica del Carmen, never been present. Juliana Araceli Ramos Rosales, she was, she was online some minutes ago, but I don't know what happened. But she was online. Ok, very good. Kilsi Gifredo Norberto Cerón Valle. Present. Yeah, very good. Uh, Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present, present. Hey, José Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Present. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Murcia. Present. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. Thank you. Linda Xiomara Tábora Portillo. Present. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón de Humansor. Present. Reina de la Paz Villatoro de Álvarez. Present. And last but not least, Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. Thank you very much. Okay, very good. Okay, we're going to continue with uh, a small question. I have a small question for you. Let's see. Where do you usually request a permission form? Where do you usually request a permission form? Imagine you have an emergency and you need permission. So where do you usually request a permission form? To which place? Give me some, I don't know. Do you understand the question? Example, yes. you are sick. You are sick. And you go to the company and you need to request a permission form. You need to request a paper to ask for permission. Where do you request that paper? Or, or for example, what do you do when you need a permission? Sorry? In my case, I write in, uh, permission my bus. Only a, a text or, or an email? No, it's in, in the moment, it's a write permission. It's, it's a very emergency, it's a call. I know I know stay in my work. Uh-huh. Okay, very good. So you, you send a message. Yes. Yes. Cool. But now imagine if you need to request a formal paper to ask for permission. Oh. Yes. Adonde? Where yes. do you ask for, for a permission form? How do you say recursos humanos, everybody? Human resource. Exactly, very good. So we say human resources department. Okay, very good. Human resources department. Another one can be to your boss secretary, to the receptionist. All right, we have different options, right? Receptionist, okay, etc. Now, when we need a request, Form, we ask these forms to these kind of people. Okay, so this was a, a short question. These are some questions that appear on the on the manual. Now, um, we're gonna see, I don't wanna touch anything here. All right. So here we have uh, the manual. Okay, so the conversation is very, very, very short. Pero ahora van a hacer algo más. All right, you are, not, you are not going only practice the conversation. No, you will today, you will extend the conversation for me. 
Okay, not, not only that little converse, I need you to extend a little bit the conversation. For example, uh, I need a volunteer to help me, uh, a boy. I need a gentleman, a volunteer or victim? Victim, victim. Victim. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see. Aha. Francisco is going bananas, but let me see. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Okay, Francisco, you will be Mr. Ray and I will be Ashley. Okay, go ahead, Francisco. One, two, three, action. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Uh, do you know the procedures and rules of our company? No, not yet, sir. Okay. What do you want to start? Mm, what about how to request a permission? Sounds good. I will explain them to you first. Okay, so what you have to do with the person I, I assign you to work is you have to explain the procedure to request a permission. Is it clear? For example, uh, first you need to go to my secretary and you ask her for a request form. Second, you complete the form. Number three, you go to, okay, that's what you have to do, okay? You have to extend the conversation explaining the process for asking for a permission. Is it clear? Yes, yes. okay. Now, please take yes. a picture, okay, take a picture of the conversation. I will give you some time, and after that, I will need volunteers to practice the conversation with the information you will include. Y hay que ponerle también un final a la conversación. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, welcome to Pollo Campero, or, or, or welcome to Walmart company, etc. All right, you have to finish the conversation correctly. Okay. So now if you have the picture of the conversation. Okay, we will go and practice. Let me see if we can practice in pairs. No, we will still have a, a group of three. Grecia, Ruth, Victor. Ah, that's a good. Raquel Reina. Eh, let me see. Jose Nelson Linda, Edgar Herman. Abel, Erika, yes. yeah, very good. I like, I like the, the matches. I like the matches. Okay, so I'm going to give you some time so you can finish the, the conversation, okay? And you practice, of course, the conversation because later I will ask for volunteers. Bye-bye. Go to your groups, all right? Very good. Uh, sick in, in your house, uh, call, call to me or call to my secretary uh, the permission. The second is when you come to the company, um, refill the, uh, no, it's a, 
uh, we went back to the company uh, with email you you uh, repeat the 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 formula the formulario oh not yet sir oh where do you want to start what about how do we to request a permission so cool and uh, permission is request for human resource okay okay thank you Hi. <laughs> And, and you finish. Uh, you you okay. remember that you have to explain um, a process. For example, uh, first you need to ask the permission, or you have to ask for a paper to my secretary. Second, yo lo firmo. I sign the paper. Number three, you take the paper to Recursos Humanos, and like that, you have to explain the process. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I okay. will come back in another moment. Continue. You, you have time. Don't worry. You have time to prepare it. Okay. Y al final, ¿qué es lo que dice? Some go, I will explain them to your feet. Bien, dice, te explicaré dice, esto primero, como que dice, pero. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, what you have to do is, after that, you have to explain. Ah, okay. The process is this. El procedimiento es este. Primero, eh, yo le firmo el permiso. I, I, I sign the permission. Después lo lleva recursos humanos. You take it. Yeah, that's what you have to explain. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay. Yes. All right. Okay. Ah, como que tenemos que continuar donde les queda. Ajá, uh -huh. ya no sería eso. You have to continue the conversation. Ajá. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Good. Thanks, okay. Mr. Wright. Uh, thank you for you. Uh, welcome to the company. Ay, excellent. Very good. In Grecia, a Grecia is another conversation. Yes. Another <laughs> yes. Grecia yeah. is a uh, fruit in Grecia. Mm. Hey. The two, the two will be welcome to the to the company. The yes. two will be welcome. Okay. Thanks. Okay, Grecia. Okay. Okay. Um, you, Mr. Wright, or me? Entonces, está bueno ese. Si parece, mm -hmm. eh, talk to immediately boss and then fill out the permission request in the human resource department. And then, okay, thank for your help. You're welcome. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> are so short. Remember that you have to explain, for example. Ah, what is the process? Ah, okay, very good. First, you need to, I need to sign the paper, imagine. Second, you need to take the request permission to the superior boss. After that, okay, you have to explain about, about a little process, not a big process. Mm -hmm. The little, I have a little process. Have the little process? Yes, the first. Okay. And, uh, uh -huh. Go ahead. The first, talk to your immediately boss. And then, fill out the permission request in the human resource department. Ah, that's good. Excellent. And then, uh, okay, thank for your help. You're welcome. Oh, lo quiere más extenso. No, 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 that's okay. That's okay. Yeah, perfect. It's because I didn't listen to the previous part. Ah. Yeah, but that's Vamos okay. bien, vamos bien con José Nelson. Yes. Practice, practice the conversation. Practice, practice. And let me okay. see. At the end vamos of the day. Vamos bien, José Nelson. <laughs> okay. Okay, you ahorita. Yeah, you, that was okay. It's okay, perfect. Okay, thank you, teacher. And Ahorita practicamos. Yeah, practice, practice. Okay. I will go to another another group. Okay, bye bye. Yeah. Here with bye. The schedule. The schedule. Uh -huh. Y the finally, pongámosle a Dios. <laughs> when you request the permission, 
when how about the request when you request a permission Eh, para ponerle, teacher, debes yeah. traer, debes traer. When you request a permission, eh, debes traer. Bring. What? You, let me see if I can write it here. If you request a permission, you must bring. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. You must bring the... Como la hoja esa del seguro que le piden si en el caso oh, que estén... Oh, 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 you bring the, the sick leave. Ajá. Uh -huh. You must bring the sick leave. Mm -hmm. Ok. You must bring the sick leave. The sick leave. Ok. Okay, you must bring this. Okay, and the finally, uh, sounds good. Okay, finish. <laughs> Okay. Hoy practicamos. <laughs> eh, sorry, remember, remember that at the end of the conversation, you need to close your conversation with, for example, welcome to the company or something like that, right? Yes, the end is the, is a, is a, welcome, good morning, eh, a ver, <laughs> and welcome to the, our company, Simon Company. No, welcome to the R Seaman Company. Oh, no, sir. I don't know. That's okay. That's okay. Uh -huh. Perfect. Perfect. Remember that uh -huh. it is close in the conversation, but very good. Good, uh -huh. good, good. Okay. Practice your conversation. You have, oh my God, we will finish. We will finish. Go ahead. <laughs> Try to practice okay. a little bit. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Do you know the procedures and rules of our company? Oh, ya no vamos. No, check. Yes, we, <laughs> <laughs> we are leaving. Yeah, oh, sorry. No, no. Oh, go. Okay, very good. Now, I will need some volunteers for this activity. All right, so I need some volunteers. Linda and Jose Nelson Gustavo, okay? <laughs> okay, go ahead. The volunteer. Oh, your volunteers. Yeah. Victims. Okay. Victims. No, they, they are volunteers, <laughs> but the next are, are. Okay, go ahead. Jose Nelson, is that Mr. Wright? Yes. Okay. Okay. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to your company. Thank you, Mr. Hank. Uh, do you know the procedure and role of your company? No, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want to start? What about how to request a permission? Sound good. I will explain then to your uh, tell your immediate boss and uh, then fill out the permission request in the human resource department. Oh, okay. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Hey, bye. very good. Bye, okay, bye. very good. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, Jose Nelson, I'm going to help you just uh, with some pronunciation, okay? 
Procedures. Proce Procedures. Difficult Proce for you. Yes. Yes, okay. So repeat after me. Procedures. Okay. Proceed. Proce procedure. Yeah, procedures. And here, request. Proceed. And this one is our. Our. Yes, our. Our. Okay. Nice. Our. Much. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Other volunteers or victims? Victims. 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 Okay. Irene. 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 <laughs> okay. Uh, let me see. Reinita. Reinita, Reinita and, and, and Abby. <laughs> okay, very good. Go ahead. Good afternoon, Ashley, and welcome to our company. Ay, espérame que se me... Okay, thank you, Mr. Han. Do you know the procedures and rulers of our company? Not, not yet, sir. Okay, where do you want, want to start? What about you to re require a permission? Request a permission. Sounds good. I will explain then to your fears, you write the permission in the next go to boss. Okay, Mr. Han, thank you for your information. You are welcome. Excellent, very good, nice, 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 nice. Abby, this, this word, we're gonna practice, how? Excuse me? How. Oh, how, this one, this word, you pronounce it how? 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 Yes. How to request? Ask my question. Oh, request. Yes, a request. request. Yes, very good. How so, to request? How to request? Nice, nice, Abby. Thank you very much. Okay, let me see. Um, one more, one more, one more. Da, da, da. Ah, I see someone looking at me. Uh, <laughs> No, Herman, not you today, no you <laughs> Because I always say, Herman, Herman, no. I'm gonna choose Abel. Abel and who are you working with? I. I, with Erika, all right, <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay, Abel. You first. You. Good morning, Erika, and welcome to the company, Simman Company. Thank you, Mr. Abel. Do you know the products and rules in our company? No, no, yet, sir. I explained the products and rules to our companies, company. Okay. You rule company fears wear the uniform second arrive on there on time on time three were your full schedule schedule and finally then you request permission your moves the sick leave. Sound good. Okay, finally. <laughs> hey, excellent. Very good. <laughs> you, you modified the conversation, but that was very good. All right. That was, that was very good. I mean, you modified the conversation to, to, to your own. And, and that was very good. Okay. Thank you very much, everybody. Now, I will stop the share and I will do it again because I need to share computer sound because we're going to watch uh, a video, all right? Now, um, this video it's is... It's time now to answer some of you.
this video, do you remember yesterday we were watching about Jan Nick? That was the name of the guy. Jan, I think Grecia is me, or I don't know who. What's the what's the meaning of Jan Nick? But it was a name about two boys talking. Okay, so the name of this video is introducing es presentar, right? Introducing new employees and the best places to start a business by open forum. This is like, like a forum. Now, if, uh, sometimes everybody, I'm gonna tell you something. Sometimes these kind of videos can be a little boring, like, I know this is not important, but I, or, or maybe this is not very funny, but I'm gonna tell you something. If you want to learn and challenge y retar su inglés, if you want to learn and challenge your English or your English learning and listening, this is a very good way to, to learn, to watch these kind of things, to learn, uh, to watch videos about different topics. We're not gonna watch only TikToks or, or something like that, right? We can also watch topics about different things, cooking videos, videos about animals, videos about everything. And we can also watch videos about economy or something like that. So we're gonna watch this video. Usted concéntrese, palabrita que no conozca, word that you don't know, write it on the notebook, okay? And I'm gonna help you later to, to, to find the meaning. Okay, let's see. Your business questions, Michael. Sorry. It's time now to answer some of your business questions. Michael and Yannick are with us once again. The first question is about new employees. What are some effective training strategies for new employees to sort of uh, get them into the mix of the company as well, obviously make them uh, as productive as possible in the beginning? Yannick, you know, this is, or both of you, this is particularly interesting in the context of this show because once you get somebody in, you want to train them in, in their tasks and in the culture of the company. So, Yannick, what are some um, onboarding strategies? Well, I think, yeah, I think that's what happens is we get, we get so wrapped up in finding that great employee and then we f sort of forget about them once we bring them in. And it's, it's almost just as important maybe even to think about having a maybe first 100 days or first 60 days to really re-emphasize what they came in for, share the vision, share the big picture of what they're building, that something is bigger than them. And then also, you know, think about how, not micromanaging, but how are they going to be independent and give them mastery of of their tasks that they can go on and be uh, bigger, be, be part of something bigger. Mm -hmm. Well, I think it starts with good hiring. Yep. So you hire slowly, mm -hmm. right? And w what's the best indicator of future performance? It's past performance. So you try to, you work out a way to get people to do the work that they need to do before you will hire them officially. So there's that probationary period, mm -hmm. but it's the ongoing long-term training. It's not, hey, let's get them you know, up to speed in two weeks and then they're off on their own. So I think every single person should have a mentor inside the organization. It's a great idea. Absolutely. That's a great idea. You know, one of the things we do in my company, though it's still you know, small enough to do this, is anytime somebody new comes, the first couple of days they meet and sit down with every single person in the company. Mm -hmm. Because it could, you know, weeks, months could go by and you realize two people haven't even spoken to yeah. each other. And, and then the other thing you can do is you can bring them into the decision-making process. And every single month, I send an email to my team and I say, so what am I doing that's working and what do I need to improve? And they feel comfortable saying, Michael, you're totally messing this thing up. You gotta, you know, you're hard to work with here or you're good, whatever it right. is. And, and if you don't feel like you can do that with the people you work for, it's not a good place to work. Yeah. Well, yeah. good for you. That's, that's something about your personality, too. But Okay. Um, that, going to the next question. This is an email from Michael, and he writes, We're service providers of a canine scent detection to eliminate pests. Although we have demand for our unique service, we need to increase branding and awareness. What suggestions would you have to help successfully achieve this business goal? Okay, so to explain that in English, um, I believe this company uses dogs to sniff out bed bugs. So, Yannick, for people who don't know... Is it me or this is the video from yesterday? The video for yesterday. Yes, yes. 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 this is the video from yesterday. I don't know what happened. Let me check. Let, let me check something, everybody. I will do it in front of you. I'm sorry. I'm going to do it in front of you, but I have to do it. Let me see. So this is the textbook. Uh -huh. This is the link. Or maybe the link, let me see if the link repeats. Sorry, yeah, because when she said bed box, I was like, hmm. 
but let me check. Let me check everybody. I wanna check, I wanna check out. Yeah, it's, it's the same link, so it is repeated. But I watched it today and okay, so we're gonna, we're not gonna do that right now. Let me see. We're gonna do another thing. Okay, I will I will come back to my to my presentation. Everybody, um, at the end of the class, I will explain some things to you. And if you want to stay like like some minutes after the class, because I want to I want to to show you some things about websites where you can practice listening listening and everything. So you can stay, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna show you uh, interesting things. Let me see. Okay. All right. So we're gonna go to the next one. We already did this. We already did. Okay. Now here I have for you some common rules in the office. All right. We have different rules. For example, we can have rules in the office um, about for for coworkers. Rules in the office for using the for using, for example, the the printer. Using the photocopy machine. We have rules for a very specific things. Now, these are some rules, uh, office rules. For example, the first thing, can you read the first one, uh, Evit, please? Can you read the first one? Keep your personal matters of opinions at home. Okay, keep your personal matters. What's the meaning of matters, everybody? Give me a synonym of matters. Me, a problem. Exactly. Problems or issues. That can be problems or issues that can be two synonyms for matters so keep your personal matters and opinions at home oh my god so that is something that is something really strong okay the next one can you read the next one grecia please consider your co-workers when packing your lunch okay how everybody how do you thank you grecia how do you understand this how do you understand this? Consider your coworkers when packing your lunch. Consider a tus compañeros de trabajo cuando cuando estén comiendo, cuando estén it is something like that, all right? Yeah, so consider your coworkers when packing your lunch. That that means uh, sometimes we eat in a in a place, right? But there are people that leave garbage here, garbage there, and this, they use all the space. So that means that you have to be considerate, all right? The next one, the next one, uh, Norberto, can you read the next one, please? Watch your language. Uh... Watch your language. What's the meaning of watch your language? What do you understand, everybody? Cuida tu lengua. Exactly, exactly. Teacher, pero cuidar, cuidar es take care. Y porque dice watch, así es una, es una expresión. All right, it is an expression. Watch your language. Hey, your language. Watch your language. That means be careful with your language. Pay attention to your language. Don't use bad words, something like that. All right. The next one. Um, Jose Nelson, can you help me with the next one, please? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you. Ar arise. If, if, if. Go ahead. If problem arise, handle them privately. Okay, very good. If problems arise, if problems emerge, handle them privately. And the next one, thank you, Jose Nelson. Carmen Irene, read the next one, please. Okay, respect company property. 
Ok, very good. Respect company property. Very good. Respect company property. Nice. Very good. So these are some examples of some rules. Now I'm going to show you examples of other kinds of rules. Let me see. <laughs> this is very funny. This is very funny because this is rules to use the office refrigerator. Do you have a refrigerator in the office? Yes, I have. You yes, have yes, a refrigerator. Have. Yes. Okay, so in some places there are some rules for the refrigerator, okay? For example, clean up spills immediately. Spills are derrames, right? Confirm that door is closed completely, the, the door from the refrigerator. Label and store items in proper containers. Label is, okay, you have the container, put, put something and write Herman, Herman's food, okay? Because if not, Francisco can come and eat Herman's food, all right? Yeah, so you need to, you need to, you need to label. And don't, don't move or take items or things that are not yours. This is very common in call centers. It's very common in call centers, all right, call centers. So move or take items that are not yours. Deje, leave items for extended periods of time. Don't leave items for extended periods of time. Adjust temperature settings. Don't adjust temperature settings. That means don't touch the, the temperature, right? So these are some rules for the refrigerator. And finally, oh, we have work rules. Okay, so there are a lot of kinds of rules. Live on time and don't take your work home. Hey, that would be very nice, right? <laughs> yes or no? Vayas a la hora, right? Live on time and don't take your work for home. No, 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 no. These are some dream rules. Yes or no? Yes, I mean, yeah. imagine leave on time at ah, five. Okay, you have to go. That, that would be so great. Okay, very good. Now, uh, let me see what time it is. Okay. Now, um, we're gonna, let me see what, what else we are missing. Es que tengo algo para ustedes. I have a little exam today. So these are some procedures to request a permission. Esto ya lo vimos, right? Uh, read the procedure to request a permission, print the request, fill out the form, write the reason for the permission, write the time and day you will be absent, specify if it is due to medical or personal reasons, ask for the department manager's signature. Okay, now this is the procedure to request a permission. Okay, very good. Now, but I'm gonna go to the next activity. Let me see, give me a second. Okay. Now, the next activity, this is the activity that I want you to do. Do you remember yesterday we were studying a little bit of if and when? Do you remember? Yes. yes. So today we will have a little examination about that, okay? So please take a picture from this. Take a picture from this. We're going to spend some good time here. Now, remember, yesterday we were studying if or when, right? If is when we have unusual situations and when is when we have usual situations, okay? So what we're going to do here is, here you have some sentences. What you have to do is you have to complement the sentences complement the sentences, okay? For example, number one, if I am late for class, what happens? La siguiente oración que usted tiene que usar tiene que estar en presente. The next sentence that you have to use has to be in present. So for example, if I am late for class, 
My teacher gets angry. Ah, no, no, come on. It's not true. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't get angry. So if I am late for class, my teacher gets angry. If I am late for class, I miss information. If I am late for class, okay. So what you are going to do is with another partner, you will complement the sentences for me. Is it clear? Yes, so, now pay attention. So. Pay attention that in some cases, en algunos casos no empieza con if y when. Entonces, cuando no empiece con if ni when, la oración es que va a ir en medio. ¿Se acuerdan de ese cambio? Do you remember? Si no, yes. aquí, es, aquí yes. está el ejemplo. Uy, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Ok. Now, uh, for example. Ok. For example, here. La oración comienza con if. So, if the sentence begins with if and when, you need a comma and after that the next sentence. But if the sentence doesn't begin with if or when, como en este caso no comienza ni con if ni when, but is in the middle, if and when, it rains and we don't have a comma. Is it clear? Okay, so what you're going to do is complement <coughs> these sentences. I'm sorry. So please take a picture. Take a picture. Esto sí me, lo, me los va a poner a trabajar bastante. All right? So you're going to work a lot with this. The sentence, eh, always use if and when. It depends. El, el, um, ay, Linda. <laughs> For example, in number two, you have when. In number three, aquí sí le queda discreción de usted y su, pare y su compañero. If you use if or you use when, okay? The, 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 the question, yeah? use if or when, o como whatever. Como eh, sea. Well, in, in this case, in this case, Linda, they are, they are not questions. They are only affirmative sentences. Mm -hmm. Solo son oraciones afirmativas. Aquí no vamos a, a usar pregunta, okay? So, for example, in number one, you are using if. In number two, you are using when. Pero en la tres, no tenemos nada. Entonces, aquí en medio podemos poner if o podemos poner when. Yes, I understand this part, but, but you uh, say my teacher gets angry. No tendría que haber un if o un when ahí. Porque aquí está el principio. Entonces ya no se vuelve a colocar. Exactly, ya no. Ajá. Solo si lo pusiéramos a lo contrario, allí sí. Si dijéramos, my teacher gets angry if I am late for class, when we have the opposite case. Okay, thank mm -hmm. you. Okay, very good. All right, so eh, I'm going to stop the share and we're going to work with this. All right, very good. Let me see how many we have. We will have a group of three. So, Reina Ruth, okay. Raquel Victor, very good. Linda Saida, excellent. Uh, Norberto Sandy, perfect. Edgar, Edgar Grecia, excellent. Carmen Irene Ivit, perfect. Germán Agustín José Nelson, perfect. I like the groups. Okay, so we're gonna go and we're gonna practice this. Okay, bye bye, everybody.
Then he is the uh, very learning. Stays up is when a person is awake, awake, very uh, despierto, right? Uh, until very late night. Mm -hmm. okay. Maybe there are some people who are awake at yes. one. Thank you. Me, for example. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I don't, I, I know. Eh, eh, eh. Extended, extended. Oh, you didn't understand. Ah, okay. The meaning of stay up late, stay up late is quedarse despierto hasta tarde. Ah, okay. Entonces la número dos dice, cuando él se queda despierto hasta tarde, ¿qué pasa? When he stays up very late, él se levanta tarde. When he stays up very late, comma, he gets up very late. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Remember that we are going to complement the sentence. Yeah? Uh, get up. Yeah. Yeah. Up. He gets up very late. Yes. Remember, remember that here we are going to use third person singular. For example, he eats, she eats, all right? Yeah. Okay, that's it. He, he is wet very late. Gets. He gets up. Ah, okay. He gets, yes, yes. La S porque es tercera persona. Como es presente, it is simple present, we need to use third person singular, gets. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number three. People get. When? Las personas se molestan cuando, eh, verdad? Uh huh. No. People get hungry. Hungry. Ah, hungry. Yeah, hungry. Is hungry. Yeah. The food. Yes. <laughs> Yes, hungry for uh, from food. Mm -hmm. Oh, when <laughs> when uh, yeah. have a lot exercise. <laughs> okay. Oh, when uh. A ver, no lo había visto. Okay. What did, what did you write in number two? In number two, uh, uh, don't wake up early in the morning. Ah, okay. Now I want to I want to explain something to you. Remember that when we use if and when we join unimos dos oraciones, right? Yes. And the two sentences are in present. Entonces, para la segunda parte sería, when he stays up very late, he doesn't get up early. Uh, mm -hmm. Because remember that the auxiliary for he, she, it, in the negative sentence in present is doesn't. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay? Uh, All right. Okay. And the same, if you have an affirmative sentence, he works. She works. Remember that he, she, it, the verb has an S. Okay. Okay. Very good. We're going to continue. Um, yes. Podría ser... Podría ser necesita comer. Perdón, perdón. Podría ser necesita comer. Sería. Porque dice como que la gente tiene hambre. Ajá, eso dice con. Ajá, so you say people, people get hungry. Las personas están hambrientas cuando o si, all right? People get angry if. If. Or people get hungry. Sorry, hungry is not angry. 
People get hungry when, or people get hungry if, and you complement. For example, people get hungry if they don't. Um, Cuando no ha llegado su hora. Uh -huh. For example, people get hungry if they don't have lunch time yet, for example. Mm -hmm. Get hungry if they don't have lunch time yet. Mm -hmm. People get hungry if they don't have if they don't have lunch time yet. Yeah. Good. What do you have for number two? What do you have for number two? Two is uh it's when he late. stays up very late. He's go to late for work. Ah, he goes. Oh. Yes, eso es lo que les estoy explicando a, a, a toditos ahorita. Que como he vamos goes. a usar presente, el verbo tiene que estar con S. He goes, así. He, she or it. Uh -huh. Ok. He goes. 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 Uh -huh. Late. Goes. He goes late, late. to work. To work late. To work late. Ah. Yeah, he goes to work late. Very good. Mm -hmm. He goes to work late. Yes. He goes to work to late. Work late. Uh -huh. okay. okay. I will come back in another moment. If you need okay. help, just let me know. Okay. Ella está concentrada. She concentrate. She is a... Okay, Victor and, and Abby, eh, what do you have for number two? For number two. Okay, for number two, for, for is a... Is a when he yes. stay, stay up very late, he paints the back. He? He paints. Pain. Ah, okay. He sorry. Uh, sorry. Number uh -huh. two, the translation in Spanish will be, cuando él se queda despierto hasta tarde. Ah, uh -huh. uh, okay. Uh, we, we, we need to uh, queda de pie, me la tradujo. Stay up. Uh, oh. Okay, yes. Yes. Sorry, it is uh, cuando él se queda despierto hasta tarde. Stay up late. Stay up, uh -huh. it's a phrasal verb. Now, uh -huh. what I want to explain, lo que les quiero explicar es esto. Okay. Uh -huh. For example, imagine you say, cuando él se queda despierto hasta tarde, él se levanta tarde el día siguiente. So, we're going to say, he gets, pay attention to this. Si usamos el presente simple, hay que usarlo en, en, in, in, its, en su forma correcta, in its correct form. Now, si es tercera persona, if we have third person singular, we say he gets up late the next day, for example. Mm -hmm. So you say, when he stays up very late, comma, he gets up late the next day. Okay. Hmm? When he stays up very late, comma, he gets up late the next day. Mm -hmm. Oh, and imagine if it is negative. When he stays up very late, he doesn't, el no se levanta, he doesn't get up temprano, early. So, when we have he, she, it, remember that we need to use the correct grammar structures. Yeah. Is it clear? Okay, yes. Okay. Perfect, very good. Yeah, I, I les, les estoy recordando a cada grupito porque a veces se nos olvida, we forget. 
Okay. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Continue. I'm gonna stop my share. Okay. Um. Turn on. There's. Turn the topic. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, do you have any question? Um. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, for example, what do you have for number two? Uh, he get up late in the morning. Hey, that's excellent. Only one little, one little thing. He gets up. Gets up. Mm -hmm. up. Okay. Because remember that when we use third person singular, he, she, ah, is. Do you remember? Yes. But the, the complement, um... the complement is excellent. What about number three? Number three. Uh, uh, people get hungry when they to exercise. When they exercise. No, andamos tan perdidas. No, it's excellent. Plus. Good, yeah. <laughs> Perfectísimo. Perfect. Because you say people get hungry if they excellent you need the subject remember that they are two sentences that you are joining sería if they exercise Como sea, if they or when they lo que ustedes okay. guste what, okay. what you want okay 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 excellent good job all right so just the observation of third person singular but then you are doing yes. a great job okay she's happy <coughs> i'm gonna move to another oh, sorry i have a little <coughs> Okay. She's you hungry to you hungry the other people. To molest a las otras personas. Uh -huh. Okay, no. uh, let me see Grecia no. and Edgar. All right. What do you have no. for number two, Grecia and Edgar? Number two. Yes. Ah, number two. Mm -hmm. When he stays he stays uh, up very late. He gets tired. Excellent, yes, Grecia. Uh, Repeat, please. He gets... When, when he stay up uh, very late, he gets tired. Yes, I did. Ha gustado cómo ha usado la tercera persona. Because eso es lo que les iba a hacer la observación si había error, pero there is a mistake. He gets up tired. Excellent. Remember, when we use he, she, it, the verb needs the S. Teacher. Yes? And number seven. Ah, number no. seven. Okay. I can't do my homework. Hemos puesto. I can't do my homework when I don't go to the school. Go to school. Así es. Así puede ir. I can't do my homework when I don't go to school. No, yeah. no vamos. O la número tres, por ejemplo, que dice People get hungry Ok, everybody Vaya, ahorita son las, las Ya, it's time si ustedes quieren, les doy un poquito más de tiempo para que puedan seguir trabajando en el ejercicio. Solo quiero explicarles algo, eh, así rapidito. Como lunes vamos a tener clase, el lunes vamos a llenar la encuesta. Así me pasaron la información ahora, pero quiero saber si ya les llegó a todos la encuesta. Yes. Reina dice. Yes. 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 Bueno, yes. a todos les ha llegado. Yes. Very good. Todos la no, tienen. A mí no, teacher. ¿Quién no? A mí. Ah. Víctor. Vaya. No, Víctor. no me he dado. Víctor, ¿ya revisó el correo o WhatsApp? Yes, uh, today. Vaya, ok. Yo le voy a mandar el nombre entonces a la encargada, el nombre suyo, para que me le manden la información. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, very good. So, um, um, lo vamos a hacer el lunes. We're going to do it Monday. Así que tenga la información a la mano. Revísela, explore la, 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 la encuesta, right? Porque al final de esa encuesta, cuando usted la termine y usted le dé enviar, 
ya no hay vuelta atrás. There is, not, there is no other way around. Así que tiene que ir lo más um, accurate. That means con la información correcta, right? The most accurate information. And let me see. Al final, cuando usted la termine, le va a tomar una screenshot o una foto a donde diga eh, el resultado, eh, se ha llenado la encuesta. Entonces usted va a mandar, ya sea por correo o por WhatsApp, esa captura de pantalla con su nombre abajo. With your name. Ok. Very good. Now, eh, seguimos trabajando otros minutitos. We're going we're gonna to continue working or you want to go and sleep. No, come on. Ok. Now, um, ¿les cuesta este tema de if and when? Un poco. Pero un poco. Un Vaya, poco. ¿quieren que lo hagamos juntos? No, yes. no les importaría, esto sería yes. como una, like a, like a tutorial, pues, pero para claro. todos, ¿ok? Ok. okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. No problem. Yes. Oh, no problem. Yes. No problem. Ok, pues. Ay, pues, I, I, I love you for that reason. <risa> fíjese, que, fíjese que yo le digo a la señora el grupo que tengo yo es muy bueno it's very good si yo los alabo ahí los ensalzo oh, nosotros nos encanta bueno. la teacher Ay, thank, thank you very teacher. much yes, pero, pero sí este yo los ensalzo con, con ella y le digo que you are you are a great great group y espero que todos podamos seguir juntos All right? very good so now let me see vamos a ver eh, in number two In number two, a donde dice, when he stays up very late, ok, allí algunos <laughs> tienen respuestas variadas. Vaya, voy a necesitar quizás la de Grecia. All right, Grecia, can you tell me your answer in number two, please? Okay. When he stays up very late, he gets tired. Ok, vaya, le, le voy a explicar algo acá. I'm going to explain something here. Here, you have two sentences. Acuérdese que cuando nosotros usamos if and when, necesitamos dos oraciones. En este caso tenemos dos. La primera, he stays up very late. Y la segunda, he gets very tired. Now, lo primero que tenemos acá es el when. En este caso, when está al principio de la oración. When. Let me see. Wait, give me a second. We have when. All right. Very good. When. Ok, now, eh, estas, estas oraciones deben ser escritas in present simple. ¿Ustedes se acuerdan del present simple? No mucho. Remember, presente simple para hablar de daily routine or things that we do every day, all right? Things that we do eh, every day. Ok, for example, I take a... I take a shower every day and I do this every day, etc. Algo que sí tenemos que tener bien claro cuando usamos el if y el when es que si usamos tercera persona, if we use third person singular, el verbo tiene que estar en tercera persona. Si el verbo lleva S, no significa, y doesn't mean, que el verbo esté en plural, sino que es una regla gramatical. The verb is in third person singular. Ahora, si quisiera poner eso en negativo, ¿cómo sería? What would be the, the sentence if I wanted to write the sentence in negative form? He doesn't. He doesn't. Exactly. He doesn't get, no, he doesn't get up early. Vamos a ponerle que no se levanta temprano. He doesn't get up early. Is it clear? Yes. Yes. Yes, muy bien. Ahora en la tres. In number three, allí no tenemos ni if ni when al principio. Entonces, vamos a poner if and when en medio. Es como que empezáramos eh, from the first part to the second part. And from the, is, o sea, que los vamos a cambiar de, 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 de lugar, ¿ok? So, people get hungry. Linda me dio una opción bastante bonita. Linda, can you repeat it, please? People get hungry. Linda when en inside. They exercise. Eh, very good. Bye. When they exercise. Ok, thank you, Linda. When they exercise. Eso estuvo más que bien. 
¿Por qué? Because people is they. Right? Entonces, decimos, people get hungry. Y, y me preguntaba Linda, porque cuando yo lo repetí, se los dije con if. Y ellas me lo habían dicho con when. Y me dicen, teacher, entonces es if. Ahí no hay problema. It can be if or when. No problem. Porque aquí no nos están preguntando, ah, if it is a necessary situation or unnecessary situation. ¿Ok? Usted tiene que tener en mente. You have to keep in mind. When, cuando, if, si. ¿Es clear? Yes, ok. What about number four? If you study hard, ¿qué va a pasar? If you study hard, ¿al ¿alguien que tenga la opción para eso? You get excellent qualification. Ok, very good. You get excellent, pero vamos a poner esta palabra, Abby. Excellent grades. Ok. Ok. If you study hard, you get excellent grades. If you study hard, you pass the module. If you get, if you study hard, you graduate with honors. And we can have different options to complement the sentence. Is it clear? Okay. Okay, perfect. ¿Cómo sería la cinco? When she watches a movie, She goes to the movie theater. Repeat, please. She goes to the movie theater. Excellent. When she watches a movie, she goes to the movie theater. Very good. Movie, movie teacher. <laughs> movie theater. All right. Very good. She goes to the movie theater. Esa podría ser una opción. Y muy bien, porque usamos el verbo in third person singular. Okay. Very good. Another person? Otra opción que tengan? Another option that you have? She eats apple crumb. She eats. Eats. Ajá, uh -huh. le vamos a agregar la S. Very good. She eats. Es de popcorn. What about number six? Cuando yo me cruzo la calle, when I cross the street, ¿qué hago? What do I do? I see both sides of the street. Excellent, Linda. Very good. I see both sides of the street. Yeah. When I cross the street, I see both sides of the street. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Okay. And the next one. Es la última que vamos a hacer. I can't do my homework. Y aquí when a... I stay in my office. Can you repeat, please? When I stay in my office. Excellent, Carmen, Irene. When I stay in my office. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Ahora, ahora sí, sorry. Ahora sí está un poquito más claro, everybody? Yes. 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 Hoy sí, vaya, very good. Now, vamos a tomar nota porque en la plataforma ahora, acuérdese, lo de la plataforma es bien importante hacerlo. All right, we, we need to do it. We need to do it. So, para la plataforma voy a querer de la, o, de, de la 11 a la 15. Usted la va a complementar in the plat, on the platform. De okay. la 11 a la 15. 11, 12, okay. 13. 14, 15. Hágalo, ok. Yo sé que a veces es difícil. Oh my God, I don't have time. Pero hágalo porque es parte de su proceso de aprendizaje. It's your learning process. Ok. Very good. Mañana tal vez les robo otros minutitos y les voy a enseñar. I'm going to teach you lugares donde podemos practicar listening. Ok. Ok. okay. Very good. Gracias. Okay. Thank, Thank you very teacher. much, everybody, for staying. Thank you very much for your interest and I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye-bye, okay. everybody. Have bye. a nice bye. night. Take care. Bye-bye.